Okay guys, moving on to hooks now. Straight punches are what they are. They come straight at you. Every other punch in boxing, a hook, an uppercut, or a rip to the body has a similar semicircular shape. So we're gonna talk about numbers three and four, which are the left and right hook, okay? So a hook travels out of your vision. Unlike a straight punch that comes at you, it travels out of your vision and sneaks in around to the side of the target area, okay? So the best way to learn a hook I've found over the years is when you're teaching, okay, put your legs apart, arms out like so, elbows bent, make a fist and bend your knees. Now guys, your midsection needs to act like the lid of a drink container. Very important little exercise to get you used to throwing that hook. So you twist like so. And whilst you're doing this, try to talk the body a little more every time you come around and try and keep that chin tucked away like so. Once you've done this, good. Loosen your arms up, put your hands up. So let's talk about the left hook being number three, okay? So three things happen simultaneously when you throw a hook. This is very important. One, your left arm will travel from vertical, from a guard position, up to horizontal. At that very point in time, your head will move hard in the direction of the hook. And the third thing that will happen is your right leg must be in position, not in behind here, in position, and bend to allow that transition of weight. So from here, we come up and around and back. So when we finish, we don't drop away like this. From here, we come up and around and then back down. Retalk your shoulders. Snap that arm up, move your head across, and drop it back down like so. Keep looking towards your opponent. And with your right hand, guys, same principle applies, but unlike the left hand, which is in the front of the body, the right hand comes off that back leg, okay? So again, we keep our chin down, we snap that right elbow up, and at that point in time, we start moving that head, and we bend that left knee, and we come around like so, Okay, keeping that other hand, that left hand in guard position, you keep your head down so that shoulder covers your jaw when you finish. And around, and around like so, and back down, okay? And this is what it looks like on the box master, okay? Hands out, hands up, okay, right hook to start with, four, back down, three, back down, four, back down, three, back down, four, and one more. Okay guys, on the subject of hooks, we know that three and four are left and right hooks, but also we have these other hooks on eight and seven. So this multi-pad simulates your opponent ducking down on you. So how we execute the hooks on the multi-pad would normally be with a weave first, okay? So with your hands up, you would weave and come up on the other side of your opponent whose head would be there, and then you would show a short hook, and then you'd weave back around the other side and come like so. So this is what it looks like. So you need to have the correct distance away. If you're too close, you can't weave. So you need to be away, okay? Hands up near your chin, Little weave and a short hook on that eight. Weave back under and a short hook on the seven. One more under, eight, under, and seven. 